tonight, uh, the substitution I'm going to be making as far as carbs will be using a spaghetti squash as opposed to regular spaghetti noodles. Um, and I want to show you something really kind of cool about uh, this squash I bought the other day. All right. So something I want to point out uh, about this squash that I got uh, the other day when I went to uh, the store is that you know on the label here, it actually is you know too small enough for y'all to read there, but Right in here, it actually explains how to prepare the squash, whether you're going to uh, put it in an oven or even a microwave. All right, so that's one of the things to think about. This this actually co didn't cost me much at all, um, maybe a couple of dollars, if that. And so, you know, really easy thing from what I've been seeing. Well, <laughs> we'll see once I make it. Um, but that you can, can uh, make for yourself. All right, guys? Okay, so... Of course, I'm always concerned about safety. Um, so, you know, whatever, you know, whenever you're using knives or anything like that in the kitchen, um, you know, please be as careful as you can. Now, I watched earlier uh, someone do this uh, online. So, they had had said so you would first pierce. We're going to cut the spaghetti squash lengthwise, and because you know, because it is rounded, it moves a little bit. Um, so you never want to have your, your hand on this side of the knife, right? You always want to have it um, on the other side of the, of the sharp edge. And this is actually a very tough uh, squash. And wow, it's actually harder than it looked when they did it online. Having to kind of rock it in there. There we go. Just a little bit of a rocking motion to kind of help it get down into there and still want to be as careful as possible. Wow! This thing is tough! Once I finally slowly shimmied the, the knife out and went in this other and you turned it around to get this other half then it cut a bit easier so maybe once I get through it I can just you know I guess slowly just in case Kind of go side to side on it. It might be because it kind of turned here as opposed to going straight through. Alright. Tell you what. Let's take it on this other side here and see what happens once we go in this way. It's almost like it's because it's kind of went off an angle. There we go. We'll just break that apart there. Alright. So now the next thing get a spoon here is to take a spoon and get all of this seeds out. Thing is pretty tough. I've never made this before, so here we are. We're totally experimenting together. Okay, so now that that has been, uh, the seeds have all been spooned out and thrown away, I'm actually going to take some uh, kosher salt and I'm going to pour it in my hands because it has a tendency to come out of that, that container pretty well. And I'm just going to sort of lightly sprinkle it on there. It's probably you know, more salt in my hand definitely than I'll we'll be using because I'm just letting a little bit escape through there. Alright. Just that out. And I'm going to go ahead and even put in a little bit of pepper. The reason I've got the glove on is because I am actually going to touch the food. I'm going to pour in a little bit of the olive oil. Each one. And I'm going to, with my gloved hand, kind of rub it all in there. Now I have the um, oven preheating to 375 
and uh, you know with the directions there that came on this uh, this squash said to cook it for 45 minutes. Now the thing is that um, one we're using a, a toaster oven, uh, you know sometimes kind of call it a countertop oven, which um, you know will work a little bit differently than, than your large conventional oven. Uh, so you kind of have to get used to the way, uh, the differences in the way things cook. Uh, but also, so the chef I was kind of looking at um, online, you know, he actually had uh, his set, you know, his larger oven set for 350 um, and only had them in there for about 20 minutes. So my thing is, I'm going to start it at 20 minutes, check them, and see how they're doing. Um, and so if they need more time, you know, then I will uh, put them on for that. But I'll let y'all know about when that was um, um, for the uh, to have these work out. So one thing I do want to mention is that you know, as this is about to go into the oven, is to make sure that the cut side is down um, on the pan when you put it in to cook. All right. As you may see, right from the other day when I did the boil, well, I've I've put the rack back down um, to the lower side for the baking. Alright, so it's time to take these out. They just finished up. I did end up having to, to put them in for the, the uh, full 45 minutes um, that the, the little info sticker did say to put on them. And yes, now they are definitely done. And oh, there we go. Yeah, it is it's coming apart there. So what happens is you take a fork and you just kind of scrape along there and it ends up really, I mean that's why I call it spaghetti squash is because it really comes out just like strands of, of spaghetti. So because it is so hot, I'm holding it with my mitt on the outside and I'm just going to scrape the insides out here onto my plate. Now I've put, um, actually it's a, a can of tuna that I actually put on top of there. Uh, I know it probably seems kind of strange, but really if you think about it, if, it's, if it really is like spaghetti, then there really is no taste to it, the, the spaghetti itself, right? And so, you know, whatever you kind of add to it, um, it really is what, what has a flavor. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a little bit more um, olive oil on there. just to kind of make sure things are kind of good and moistened. And then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, lemon pepper. If I can get the camera there. All right. And actually a little bit of this true lime, uh, which is just, it really is just, it is just lime. And the reason I kind of do this is, you know, I'm, I'm allergic to tomatoes, so you'll never see me put tomatoes in anything. <laughs> um, and so instead, you know, um, I, I put on other things on two pastas. And so, so we're, in this case, uh, spaghetti squash. All right, I'll let you know how it is.